Hello and welcome to another update video about Ocean. Ocean is for now holding its uh, 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level, one of the more relevant support levels here um, in this possible WXY correction. Um, it's important in a wave two again that the 78.6 level holds. If we get a break below that, it typically indicates it's not going to hold eventually, but as you might know, invalidation of an overall bullish setup will typically not occur, well, it will not occur, until the beginning of the wave one breaks. So as long as price is holding actually above the November low, you could go with a one, two setup because the wave one was fairly impulsive, the move down fairly corrective. But I tend to say that below the 78.6 Fibonacci level, the um, one, two set, setup becomes unreliable. Most one, two setups fail once the 78.6 retracement breaks. It's just sort of for risk management very important as the last few days in crypto have shown where quite a few coins actually dropped below the 78.6 FIB level and that did lead eventually to a failure of the more bullish pattern. So Ocean is at the moment holding it but I currently have no evidence that it has already formed a low in the wave 2. I've got it on the chart like this but I will not be surprised if it makes another low because I have no evidence it's holding support at the moment. Well it is holding support but I have no evidence that this is going to be an impulse. Why is that the case? So if we really say, okay, we might be in the third wave, I need to see evidence. What would be evidence? Evidence would be an impulse up and a correction down. So what did we do here? This rallied only in three waves. This is not a five wave move. Let's go to the one hour chart. Um, this is not impulsive. So again, it might be a diagonal, Okay, but in a diagonal, if we get that, so first let me explain the problem. So we need to see an impulse. Had this been an impulse, okay, yeah, we could have said, okay, first impulse, correction down, we have a one, two setup, can be fairly confident this, it is bottomed. Now we should get a third wave, a fourth and a fifth. By the way, target for a third wave, which can still happen, yeah, target for the third wave should be the 1.618 extension at 40.9 cents. Then we should get a four and a five, ideally above the X wave high at 44 and a half cents. If we then get a three wave pullback afterwards, we have a possible or we have a reliable turnaround signal. At the moment, the problem is that what came up off the 10th of June low was maybe a wave one diagonal. That would be the bullish interpretation. To keep this alive, this assumption, this more bullish assumption, it needs to hold now this, what I have labeled as wave two. 28.2 cents. So the focus could be on higher against that level. But the problem, because the wave one was not an impulse, it was at, at best a diagonal. This usually increases probabilities, or at least it forces the consideration of an ABC structure unfolding here, yeah, um, which could still push higher against that low. Just be aware that as soon as we have a top in place here in the C wave or the third wave, it could easily break down only if it holds a higher low in a wave four, and I cannot give you support yet because I don't have a reliable top in place. And it should go to 41 cents if it's a wave three. The C wave can be a bit shorter. Um, as long as it's holding a higher low afterwards, it can push higher in a fifth wave. Then we know it can't be an ABC. It's probably a five wave move in a larger wave one. And we're waiting for the ABC structure afterwards to form a higher low and we have a possible reversal signal. This is the bullish in you know, the yellow count shows you the bullish scenario. In the bearish count, this is simply an ABC and it will fail afterwards. So we cannot say, yeah, that's what we can conclude. We cannot say for sure. I mean, you can never say for sure, but we can't say with confidence that price is bottomed on the 10th of June without seeing that yellow five wave move to the upside with the next target around 41 cents for the third wave, then a higher low and a fifth wave and a three wave pullback, yeah, that it has bottomed. We can't say because it could just simply be doing an ABC. Problem is that the move up looked corrective. So yeah, it can always be a diagonal, but then I need to see the five waves complete. If it's an ABC, it should hold, It should uh, fail after that top. Now, what are possible targets, again, to the upside here? So again, we've got, if it's a wave three, it should reach certainly the 1.618 extension. If it doesn't even get there to 41 cents, it's probably a C wave top. And here we've got targets around 36.1 cents, yeah, and then also 41. And um, yeah, I mean, if it's, if it, again, if it makes, if this is only an ABC, then we're just looking at an extension of the Y wave. 
and then this is an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave in Y, but it would then be important for reliability to hold 21 and a half cents. So at the moment I'm skeptical. I wouldn't call this bullish yet. Um, the one two setup looks actually decent, but only as long as it's holding the 21 and a half cent level. As I always say, you know, these charts, they have potential, but only as long as the 78.6 FIB level holds. So if I'm telling you I like a chart, um, but even though this is not the best long-term chart, but if I, if I like a chart, this is only temporary. Yeah, this is only temporal until the, or as long as the 78.6 FIB level holds. For altcoins, this changes very quickly because they break all the time, okay? And this is just important to know about this 78.6 FIB level for risk management purposes and to identify a bottom in place, a low in place, it needs to hold the 78.6 retracement at 21.5 cents. That's my update about Ocean. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.